tell you YouTube, I'll show you all my homemade wood powered aluminum foundry. Show you the actual foundry and now I'll show you my crucible and everything. Okay, first of all, this right here is a piece of concrete pipe. As you can see it's hollow in the inside. And right here is a pipe that goes up through here. And it blows air up through here. And we'll take this piece of metal here. It has a bunch of holes in the middle. And we'll set it down just like that. And this here is actually a brake drum that's be si been cemented to it. And my air source is this hair dryer. What I'll do is I'll get my crucible right here. And I'll show you how I how I made this crucible and how I poured the aluminum after I sh show you how, I set, how it works in the foundry. Okay, just like that. And it is powered by wood. I, I got a little bit of oak wood right here. That my dad cut a couple limbs out of this tree and I've been using it. Then I used wood, two by fours, branches, anything will work. Get your wood, set it around. And basically, you will light the wood and wait till it starts to burn a little bit. And then you'll add more wood on top of this to completely fill this with wood. You turn the blow on. And some of it will turn the chalk on, and you put more over that, and it will just basically, after a while, before chalk on, and you'll be able to melt aluminum, and you just keep on adding wood. And once you've got all your, and once all the aluminum's melted, you take your crucible out and pour aluminum. And I'll show you how I made my crucible. This here is a piece of pipe. I'll show you actually where. Got it. It's this big piece of pipe right here, and it has this concrete stuff in the middle, which I've took out. I'll show you. As you can see, the concrete stuff isn't in here. All I did was heat it up and bust all this out. It's just a piece of concrete pipe. I may say it's kind of thick for melting aluminum, but the bottom is actually thinner than this. Plus, my dad's put some deep cuts into it. Like this. And it makes it where it heat up better. And we got these two bolts welded on here. And it's got a nut on each one of them. And got this thick wire that we got for a handle. And pick it up. And got this hook that I made. It goes right here on this nut that's been wired up there. And I'll show you how I pour it. Let me set this camera down. Okay. You pick it up out of the foundry like that. You take this hook and you can pour just like that. Go into another mold, pour some more. Works well, very good. Um, some of my molds. These are there, I guess, are just cornbread tins, I guess. Pretty big. That's usually what I'll pour my aluminum into. And these are some ingot stairs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I got fifteen of those ingots right there. Got some uh, welding gloves and a leather apron. And if you think about it, all y'all people who have aluminum foundries that run off propane, most of them are propane. Why well, use propane? And, uh, you can just get scrap wood and make a fire like mine and it's completely free. I mean, why waste all that money on propane just to melt aluminum? I mean, 
That's why it gets very hot. Just on wood. I can take a piece of aluminum like this. And I can put it in my crucible. And that will melt in about 15 to 20 seconds. Just a big piece like this. And that, well, this piece is all bent up. I melt all my other pieces. They're way longer than this. Probably long, longer than this table. And I've stuck them in the top of my crucible and held it up so it wouldn't fall and melted those big pieces. And I usually wait till this crucible is probably that full. And then I'll pour into my mold. And usually make like three of these ingots. They're fairly big. Not all of them are the same size. Just I've ran out of aluminum sometimes. That's a big one there. Oh yeah, and I used this spoon to scrape the dross off the top before I'm going to pour it. And that is my homemade aluminum fanery that runs off wood.